Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to import a distribution list in Microsoft Outlook. Now, the first thing you want to do is get Microsoft Outlook up and going, and what you can do, um, this is probably the easiest way to do it, is open up your contacts and then find a distribution list that you want to send somewhere or that you know you want to get off to somewhere. Double click it, open it, go to save as, and then what you want to do is save it as an Outlook message format. You want to save it as an Outlook message. So select that, give it a name. I'm going to put it on my desktop so you can see it there really easily. I'm going to just call it dist, just so it's easy to find. Okay, so you save there just like that. And you can close that right there. So now my distribution list is saved on my desktop. So what you want to do is whoever wants the distribution list, maybe you have them do this instead of send it to you, but then you just make a new email message. And I'm going to send it to myself. I'll send it to my Hotmail account. And I'll give it a title, dist list. Um, and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do now, I've got my email, it's going to be sent to whomever, I've got a title. I am going to attach my distribution list to the email. So it's on my desktop where I put it. So go down there until you find um, the dist list. Ah, there it is right there. So now, now I've, I've attached the distribution list to my email as a, an email attachment. Then I just send it. And you send it off to whomever or have whomever is going to send you their distribution list send it to you. <clears throat> then you go in, like I've got a Outlook, a, a, a Hotmail account, so I have to hit my, my manual send and receive. And then I look in my Hotmail account right there at the top. There it is, my distrib distribution list. Now, it's got the distribution list right here. And what I can do now is I can open the email. I'll just click this. And then just take and drag the distribution list over to your contacts folder, just like that. And then if you look at your contacts folder, there it is. There's my, my distribution list. And so I've just imported it right into Microsoft Outlook. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about how to import a distribution list into Microsoft Outlook. Thanks for watching.